2 to the x minus x squared equal to 28 and x is a real number we want to find all possible values of x so if we consider 2 to the x let's have a for intuitive thinking the diagram of 2 to the x it is increasing function in terms of x and y intercept is 1 and if we want to know x squared is what it is somehow we can say it like this x squared x now here 2 to the x minus x squared we know it is at most 2 to the x because x squared is greater than or equal to 0 and it is 28 so because 2 to the x is an increasing function we conclude x is greater than 4 now let's try to find at least one answer for this part if we select negative numbers for example let's check 0 first left side will be 1 impossible if you select one left hand side will be one it's not good if it's like negative one left hand side will be one half minus one it is not integer for negative numbers left hand side is not integer so let's check positive numbers two squared minus two squared four zero two squared minus two squared will be four minus four zero Two cube minus nine will be negative one, not possible. Two to the four minus four squared is sixteen, not possible. It will be zero. Two to the five thirty-two minus twenty-five will be seven. It's not possible. Two to the six sixty-four minus six squared thirty-six equal to twenty-eight. So six works, and because six works, we can say we found one answer. And one way for proving this problem is to pay attention that the function, for example, is increasing, decreasing what happens. And we know x has to be greater than 4. So x equal to 6 is one answer. We know x is greater than 4. And we want to see 2 to the x minus x squared. Let's consider this. 2 to the x minus x squared. After x greater than 4, it is increasing or decreasing. For calculating and for finding f of x is increasing or decreasing, we should calculate f prime of x. Let me tell you how to find f prime of x. If you have e to the x, e to the x prime will be e to the x if you differentiate. And if you differentiate from 2 to the x, we can write it as e to the x times ln of 2 prime. It will be ln of 2, the derivative of this, e to the power of x ln of 2, which is 2 to the x. Now, we use this. It will be ln of 2, or let's write 2 to the x times ln of 2. And minus x squared, if we use derivative, it will be 2x. We want to see, is it positive or negative? I want to prove it is positive. My claim is this. And it's not important. For example, let's consider, is it positive? And then we check, okay, it is not positive. For example, negative. Let's see this equivalent to what? 2 to the x times ln of 2 is greater than 2x. Now, if we divide both sides by 2, then we have 2 to the x minus 1 times ln of 2 greater than x. <clears throat> and it is equivalent that ln of 2 is greater than x over 2 to the x minus. I know that ln of 2 is greater than 1 half. Let me prove it. I want to prove ln of 2 is greater than 1 half. It is equivalent that e to the power of ln of 2 greater than 2 e to the power of 1 half because e is greater than 1 and e to the x is increasing function. The diagram will be this. e to the x. Now e to the ln of 2 will be 2. We want to prove y. 2 is greater than e to the 1 half. It is equivalent if it raised to the power of 2. 2 squared which is 4. y it is greater than e. e is 2.7 something. We know it is correct. So here... If we prove 
We want to look, prove it is positive. We want to prove it is positive. We want to prove it is positive. All of them are equivalent, but this part is not equivalent. But if we prove this, we can prove the things that we wanted. If we prove that we know ln of 2 is greater than 1 half, we prove. If we prove that 1 half is greater than x to the x minus 1, then we can prove the problem for x greater than 4. So it is not equivalent, but in one direction from this part, we can prove this. Okay. So let's prove this. 1 half x is greater than 4. Y 1 half is greater than x so 2x minus one. if you replace x with 4 right hand side will be 4 over 8 will be 1 half we will see there are equal in x equal to 4 but x is greater than 4 so let's simplify if we multiply both sides by 2 it will be equivalent that x great over 1 greater than x over 2 to the x minus 2 and it is equivalent to 2 to the x minus 2 greater than x and it is equivalent to 2 to the x minus 2 minus x greater than 0. Let's consider it is g of x. We know g of 4 is what is 2 to the 4 minus 2 minus 4 will be 4 minus 4 0. So if I prove after x4 it is increasing function, then we can say it is always positive. So, if I want to prove g of x is increasing after x4, I calculate g prime of x. So, it will be 2x minus 2 prime minus x prime, which is 1. Similarly, like this part, if I want to calculate derivative of this part, it will be ln of 2 times, or let's write like this, 2 the x minus 2 times ln of 2 minus 1. I want to prove that for x greater than 0, y it is positive. It is equivalent that 2 to the x minus 2 times ln of 2, y it is greater than 1. They are equivalent. Now we can prove this. Let's see. It is equivalent that ln of 2 is greater than 1 over 2 to the x minus 2. Now we can use the thing that we had ln of 2. We proved that it is greater than 1 half. 1 over 2 to the x, let's x minus 2, is less than 1 over 2 squared. Because x is greater than 4. And we know 2 to the x is increasing function. So 1 over 2 to the x is decreasing function. Because x minus 2 is greater than 2. Because x greater than 4, we have this. And we've proved that we know it is less than one half, and we know that ln of two is greater than this. So for x greater than four g prime is positive, so g is increasing. So for x greater than four g of x is increasing. Why? Because g prime x is positive. So when g of four is zero, and for x greater than four g of x is increasing so g of x after x4 will be increasing and we prove this part that we wanted and it is exactly this part and we've proved what x greater than 4 f prime is positive so f is increasing so after x4 for example if i want to show x4 this function, if we call it f of x, in x4 it is 0. And it is increasing with proof. So, in x6 we have one answer. And because our answer should be x greater than 4 and it is increasing, it will be our only answer. Because after x6, the function will be greater than 28. Before that, will be less than 28. So, x equal to 6 is our only answer. Now, let me write homework for you. The homework. If you want to learn more things and have questions, feel free to send a message to my WhatsApp number in the description and comments. The next problem is 2 to the x minus x squared equal to, equal to 1 and x is real number. Try to find all solutions of this and comment your answers below this video.
and please don't forget to subscribe turn on notification and like the video okay have a great day see you next time bye